outro cast. Darren, could you could you make it eleven minutes? Alex, for you, I will. How's that? Eleven minutes, fifty eight seconds, my friend. Promise. Well, Alex, how's your day going aside from talking to media people asking you the same questions over and over and over again? Well, I'll tell you what, as long as there's a avocado balloon in the background, I'm a happy man. That thing has been uh, inflated for weeks now. I didn't think it was going to survive. I, 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 um, I did my daughter's birthday, her t- second birthday, nearly a year ago. And there is a helium uh, dinosaur. And I'm not joking. It has been afloat for over, well, nearly a year now and hasn't dropped in uh, pressure. It's still sitting very prominently in uh, in her bedroom. So I believe that will probably stay afloat for a while. We can hope, but I didn't rudely, uh, rudely, I did not say, how are you? That's the first thing. The second thing is, am I calling you Alex or Alexander? Because it kind of goes both ways on social media and IMDb. I mean, my name that I'm given by birth is Alexander. You would be the first ever interviewer ever in my 18 years career to call me Alexander. And I would be very grateful for it. But uh, I am, uh, you can call me Alex as well. I'm I'm not fast. Well, Alexander, uh, I'm going to say congratulations on five pounds of pressure, not just because it was great work, but as the Dark Dreams hat shows executive produced the damn thing just like a couple of other films uh you had another film come out in january that you produced was that the long term all along plan to be a film producer beyond the acting no no i i was given some incredible opportunities to to kind of broaden the experience of filmmaking and um I got to work with some great producers, collaborate with some great producers. Mm -hmm. And I guess over the last like four years, um, yeah, I mean, the company that I created with my brother, Dark Dreams Entertainment, has had some good success. And, and, you know, know, making making movies is not an easy uh, process, especially when you're making movies in the independent space. But we've got to a point now where we're really starting to um, have some forward momentum, making some really interesting um, collaborations. I can't, unfortunately, I wish I could tell you some, but we, we have some big movies that, uh, or really big movies that we we collaborating with some really big talent. Yeah. Um, and it just comes from, you know, just slaving away and working at the relationships that we have and, and uh, hard work, you know? Um, yeah. So yeah, th- thank you for recognizing that. When your first few movies have Guy and Luke and all that kind of stuff, you're setting the bar really hard uh, in a good way. But the first, the first first movie that we had was Michael Shannon. So uh, Michael Shannon is a two-time or three-time Oscar-nominated actor. I mean, we uh, we really set the bar high with 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 that one, and we did two movies with him. Um, So uh, yeah, we're 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 very um, yeah very grateful. Well, this particular movie, the director is also a notable because, hey, if Steven Spielberg says you're a great director, then by default, you're a great director. Now, how did you get involved in Five Pounds of Pressure? Um, well, we were sent the script uh, as, a, as a company um, and kind of uh, came on board in that, in that capacity. And then... Uh, I guess it was a conversation that my producing partner had with with them um, because Luke was already attached and Rory was already attached um, mm-hmm. if I would be open to playing left. And I I spoke to James and kind of was was like, yeah, that's a no-brainer for me. Um, I, I would love to be a part of the movie and it's very different than the characters I played before. And yeah, before I knew it, I was, uh, yeah, I was, I was, I was, part of the film is there much of the left character in you um no Mm, so maybe your drug dealing convictions just obviously clearly clearly not that Uh, i mean i'm trying to think about him as a human being uh, the way his interaction or his love language or i think there is a part of left in me which is caring about the people 
that are in his life, I mean, his circumstances are very different and his choices of how he takes care of people are very different than mine. But he is the he is the the grounding and the the the, the center arc of these a lot of these guys' lives. And he's providing a service to these uh men uh where they can have the ability to have their own life and longevity and and kind of um even though it's a world of crime and i think i'm very similar to that i really am very much about creating opportunities for other people to have success like i really care about people succeeding mm -hmm. i um I'm, I'm not i'm not i'm i'm one that really wants to see everyone um do well um so yeah in that extent that's who I am, but uh, in the in the other elements, no, definitely not. Uh, on a brighter note, where was Five Pounds of Pressure actually filmed? Because these days you can't tell. Sometimes you see Vegas and it's really New Mexico uh, or that kind of a thing. Where was this movie made? Manchester. Oh, wow! Yeah. So yeah. the accents weren't totally fake. No, the 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 accents were one hundred percent fake. I think there was only one American two Americans on the movie. Um, uh, but no, Ma Manchester treat treated us in incredibly well. I mean, look, Batman was filmed in Liverpool and Manchester mm -hmm. for Gotham. You would have quote unquote thought that was Chicago or uh, New York. Um, yeah, we, we, were, we, we were very lucky with the aesthetic of the city kind of fitting into this like um, ominous time period in, in Brooklyn. Yeah, I just spent an hour and a half listening to a band from Manchester when I was walking, New Order. A lot of Manchester bands are some of my favorite bands of all time. Now, oh, New Order. Actually, I need to write that down. I, 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 you, you've triggered something here. New Order. New Order. There we go. Yeah. Oasis, New Order, a lot of great music at a... Manchester but you know going over to you as as we wind down towards our 11 minutes 59 second time limit draw right here so your Instagram is very intriguing because it's not just self-promotion and the cool places that you're going but you have occasional high profile celebrity photos people that you're with who inspire you there's a good John Cena one there's a good yeah. Mariah Carey one etc is there a big archive of unreleased photos that will one day be blessed with um <laughs> i mean well first of all john cena I, I mean if you're not a john cena fan the guy is as humble as they come S super 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 inspiring human being i mean uh working in the wwe having the ability to then have the wwe pay for his education learning mandarin becoming a movie star I mean, a physical specimen of make a wish foundation more wishes than any other I mean, celebrity. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I was um, I was walking. He spends a lot of time in, in the UK and I saw him and I was a full fan and uh, went up to him while he was having lunch. And I said, uh, Mr. Cena, I, I, I would love if it would be a possibility if I had a fo photo. And yeah, it was 100 percent. Yeah, of course. And I I. I walked back from my meeting, which I was having, and there was three or four people that had gone up to him, never said no to anyone, and um, very, very inspiring man, and have a lot of time and day for him. So in that moment of pure appreciation, I posted in, uh, in support for his um, series that he did, The Peacemaker. But I also am a lover of film. I, I literally love film and TV and that sure. media. So... Uh, if I could, my Instagram would be f filled with uh, conversations I would have about film with with uh, with actors or actresses. And Mariah Carey, I did um, I did uh, um, I did the Butler with, you know, um, so, Lee Daniels, yeah, with Lee Daniels, with Lenny Kravitz, and et cetera. Uh, and so I yeah. um, I remember sitting at the table with Lenny Kravitz, and like. Oprah Winfrey and people I was like I was like a fish out of water I just had <laughs> no idea how I had like dropped into this parallel universe and um, Lenny Kravitz was laughing he's like do you, do you know who's your scene partner t t tomorrow and I said no and he's like oh you'll see and I turned up it was Mariah Carey I couldn't believe it and um, 
my friend is 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 best friends with uh, or the late Karl Lagerfeld, the, the genius of Karl Lagerfeld. Mm -hmm. And uh, Karl Lagerfeld asked me um, to introduce Mariah Carey for a Chanel uh, event where she sung at. And I took that honor and took the photo. And I feel very um, grateful that I've been given opportunities to meet, you know, very influential and talented people that have made a difference to a lot of people's lives. So for sure. Well, Alex slash Alexander, thank you for your time. Looking thank forward you. to those big movies we can't yet know about, but glad to see that Dark Dreams is growing, that your acting career is growing, and there's no slowdown of cool activity from you on, uh, happening. Thank you. I appreciate it. Outro cast. <laughs>